Ralph, it's one o'clock in the morning. No, 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 no. Are you gonna type all night? Look, while you're here, let me run some very hip jokes by you. When I'm done, there won't be a dry seat in the house. <laughs> There's a challenge I never thought I'd face. Okay, let's get this over with. Good, you're psyched. Anyone here ever been to a fast food restaurant? On Melmac, they were the worst. You'd ask for extra crispy, they'd bring you a cat with arthritis. Ah! 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 Alf, take my advice, don't quit your day job, which in your case, is just an expression. Yeah. Like he knows anything about comedy. Mr. Oh. Here's a humorous paradox I read about in Scientific American. I'm funny. I am. I could be a comic. I am funny. I really am. Hey, does anyone want to hear a good gag? Yeah! It's not really new, it's an old UPS truck. Hi! It's great. My mouth. Stand-up comic extraordinaire. I go on right before the fat guy. Whoops. My name's Howie Anderson. I sweat when I get nervous. I hope the stage has good drainage. This is my first time getting up there. I'm really nervous. You're not gonna faint, are you? I know you're just starting out, too. But I can tell. You have star quality written all over you. Any suggestions you can give me? Well, if I were you, babe, I'd use that weight thing in my act. The weight thing? Yeah, that might work. Thanks. Uh, don't mention it. You're lucky. I don't have any physical characteristics I could play off of. Okay, right now, I'd like you to give a very warm giggles welcome to a newcomer. He goes by the name of Gordon Alf Shumway. <laughs> You said? Yeah, just don't stink up the joint. <laughs> oh, anyone here ever been to a fast food restaurant? On Melmac, they were the worst. You'd ask for extra crispy, they'd give you a cat with arthritis. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear about the Melmacian National Library burning down? They lost both books. <laughs> and the second one wasn't even colored in yet. <laughs> I'll tell you, women, am I right? Take my girlfriend, Rhonda. I could always tell when she was mad by the way the fur on her back would stand up. Ah! 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 <laughs> I'm gonna stop you. <laughs> I mean, I've been running comedy clubs forever, but you have redefined comedy in America. Before we get back to your act, there's somebody over here who is dying to meet you. Brandon Tartikoff. Hey, my... uh, Brandon who? Brandon Tartikoff. I'm um, head of programming at NBC. Yeah, uh, Brandon, people are waiting. All right, all right, all right. I'll, I'll cut to the chase. You're a funny guy. We'd like to give you your own primetime sitcom to star in. Yeah, I don't know. TV? I always thought my future was in film. So, so did Shelley Long. Listen, Alf, we'll give you almost anything to get you on NBC. Frankly, uh, we're desperate. Hey, you don't have to convince me. I saw Nut House. <laughs> so what do you say? Are you in or out? Out. And next time, go through my agent. You've been in the business long enough to know how it works. You're right. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I overstepped. Hey, how'd he slip in? Who's watching the door? <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> oh, Alf, you were wonderful. I got to dig my nails into my chair to keep from laughing out loud. <laughs> Willie, one day you're going to explode. <laughs> Alf, you really did redefine comedy in America. <laughs> I can't believe I doubted you. I mean, I am wrong a lot of the time, but phew, I outdid myself here. It's okay. I don't expect that much from you. <laughs> <laughs> Alf, um, 
could you start hanging out with me? That way I could be popular with the cool kids. Depends. What's in it for me? The knowledge you'd be making them happy? No, really. 